episode of freaking hoarders. Send help. friends I know it's been a long time since I've gotten on YouTube to do a video I wanted to pop in here and take you guys along for the journey as I set up my new workspace um I've been working out of my house for the last three years I've been working off of this table that I had purchased from Joann's like two years ago and it's just not really conducive to what I need to do here in this space so I went online and purchase some new tables from Ikea um, to kind of make it easier for me to be able to film like what I do on a daily basis. I've been wanting to film, but the space that I'm in currently, it just hasn't really been conducive to allowing me to film or giving me places to like mount cameras. I know I get a lot of comments from y'all wanting to see like what I'm working on or wanting me to do tutorials and things like that. I just haven't due to my busy schedule, had the time to be able to set up something to make it easier for y'all to see like what I'm doing while I'm doing it, or even to be able to film anything. So I kind of want to take you guys along with me while I get everything here at this table broken down and move out all my equipment and then set up the whole new space so that I can have a good platform to kind of film videos and things on. I'm super excited to get started on clearing out my workspace and making a new workspace so that we can together be able to craft and I can have a little bit more space to kind of work and operate because right now I've been painting like on my couch and doing all my sculpting on my couch and I haven't the workspace that I have just doesn't allow me enough room to like bring all my supplies over here I have half of it over in one side of the living room and half of it over here on this other side of the living room so hopefully once I get all of this set up I'll be able to fit all my supplies and things like that and then be able to mount some cameras and things so I can show you like what I'm working on as I'm working on it and then also possibly do some craft with me projects or um, kind of share with you all some of the processes of the things that I do, teach you how I make my own paint, um, make some craft kits so that y'all can make your own lanterns or possibly um, have some pre-made lanterns and we can do like a paint with me and I can teach you some of my antiquing techniques and um, mail along some of my handmade waxes and some of my paints and stains and things like that so that y'all can pick up those techniques. I have like a lot of ideas of things that I want to do. Sorry I'm like super awkward but yeah I have a lot of ideas for things that like I want to do. I did want to take a moment to like thank you guys for supporting me through this. Um, y'all have been just like outstanding. I had no idea that when I first started lan making lanterns and things like that that I would get to the point where I am now where I'm actually able to like sustain myself and start to be able to like pay bills and things like that. So I wanna let you know how much I really and truly appreciate y'all supporting me. Thank y'all for giving me a chance to bring a little bit of piece of myself into y'all's home. Without any further ado, let's get started on unpacking all of this mess and setting up my new workstation. And so let's get started. Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you like what I've been working with. This like table is like super flimsy. Like <laughs> on the other side, I had to prop it up with a metal rack. Oh my gosh, you guys, there is just so much. I hope I can get it all done. Okay, hey, got the majority of everything up. Now let's sweep up this mess. Okay, pause. I just wanted to show y'all, this is where I trim all of my lanterns. What a freaking mess.
I need to come up with a new system for storing all the trimmings for my lanterns because right now when I trim them, I trim them into a box, but quite a bit of it makes it out of the box. There's got to be a better way. The last big piece of furniture I have to move before I can start working on my desk. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so here it is. Most everything is gone now. I still need to organize all of that and all of that, but I think I'm going to get the desk built first so I can have space to put the stuff when I get it out of there. But here it is. I can't wait to get this done. Okay, I have a couple of packages I have to go out, so I'm gonna set up my computer and my thermal printer for right now, get those packages out, and then I'm gonna get back into setting up this desk. Okay, friends, the next thing I have to build is a Alex set of drawers. The reviews say that it's extremely infuriating to build. So I'm gonna try and time lapse it. Let's see how I do. Um, most of the time when someone says something's infuriating or hard to build, I'm like, challenge accepted. And uh, so challenge accepted, let's try and get this built. included in the instructions for this thing is they want you to take these door pulls off you don't need to you you don't need to you can just see how this one's here I just slid the drawer in and I pulled it forward with my fingers just be careful because it's kind of sharp you might cut yourself but then you just you can screw it in from here and basically, just as long as you have this pushed all the way up to the edge, this screw hole lines up with the screw hole that's on the inside. And you can just screw it in from there. Just like that. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in because they want you to take the drawer pulls off and that's just a pain in the butt. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, and then another thing, when you're putting these guys in, they don't show in the instructions that there's like this little cutout notch. This notch goes down when you slide it into the drawers. I don't know if anybody is going to build this or not, but like if you do end up ordering the Alex from Ikea, I would definitely like those two things. <laughs>
Finished. Okay, I'm gonna have to like reconfigure everything in here, so. I think I'm gonna stop recording and then try to figure out how I'm gonna get this all to fit in here so that we can walk around in the room and all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to switch some stuff around, so we'll get it. To clear out this whole closet in order to make room for all of the things that I had to take away from my old workstation to make the new state workstation functional. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I feel like I am filming an episode of freaking orders. Oh my god. Send help. Send help. <laughs> there's so much. Uh, but I actually like need it all. But there's also like just uh, so, so much. Oh, I'm halfway there. Got it cleaned out. Put in this metal thing. So have to clean out the rest of all of that up there, and that, send out the storage, and then bring in a few more boxes and some of my supplies. Right, guys, so I started at nine o'clock. It's now three o'clock, and let me show you what it looks like. It is a literal freaking disaster. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere, but hopefully, by the end of tonight, I'll have it all done. I cleared out that shelf there, and then I organized some of my molds down there. I still have to do all of this up here. Um, and then I organized the top up here. So, wish me luck. Okay, it's finally finished. I'm so excited. Kinda wanna show you guys like what I have going on here. All right, so I reorganized this on my molds are down here and then up here I put all my paints I got these little buckets at Hobby Lobby to put all my paints in then down here I have all my paint brushes and my flocking and then I stored my Cricut down here I had to move my printer down here because there's just not enough room on top of the desk for it. And then up here, I'm storing all of my paper. And then in here is all my paper mache stuff, my airbrush kits. And then these drawers, I have all of my Bicel trims paperwork and clays and then down here I have all my paper for my Cricut and then up here is just like my junk <laughs> I have to get some little drawer dividers and then in here I have all of my paints for like all the little detail work like eyebrows and mouse and things like that my glitters and my glass glitter. Love this. I have a few glue sticks and some little extra things in here. Here I have my airbrush kit, my printer, and my laptop. All right, and then this all kind of stayed the same. These are just basically all like my little accent pieces, a little bit of extra bicycle trim little skeleton hands for making dolls, all my ribbons, and extra little decor pieces and things like that are in here. And then all of my paper mache hats and things I stored over here. And then up here, I need to get a better storage solution, but those are all my props that I use for like taking photos and things like that. And then some more props up there. And then another basket of props. And then Mega Fran. Mega Fran's here. So yeah, super excited. I got it all done.
excited I've been able to share this whole process with y'all. Um, up until today, I've been working from these shelves back here and then over on the other side of the living room, I've been working from like a little tiny corner on my couch with all of my paints and things set up on a table behind the couch. So it's been really difficult to be able to have any kind of workspace where I can actually set things down. I have to, I've been casting my lanterns and then putting them on a drying rack behind the couch. And then I've had to put down a piece of cardboard or paper to set the lanterns down as I've been painting them. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to have like a workspace where I can actually paint them and put them on a real rack. Um, and then have like a work surface where I can actually like sit down, set a lantern down and paint and not have to worry about paint getting on the carpet or paint getting on the couch or making a big mess, dropping something. This is something that I've been needing for a long time. I'm really excited to be able to have a space to work in because it's been so long. Like <laughs> y'all have no idea. I'm also looking forward to being able to share with you guys some more videos and things like that of like my process some time lapses of like me working on these lanterns, um, doing some craft with me's and possibly doing some like craft kits or something I can make maybe available through like my Etsy store where y'all will be able to make a lantern alongside with me. Maybe doing some courses or some more live streams and things like that. Cause before I got this desk, it was very, very difficult. Um, I remember like, Two years ago, I did a few videos and things like that, and I was having to try to like maneuver things, rearrange my living room to be able to film and to make video the craft with me videos. And I, if you go back and like watch some of those videos, like you could totally tell, it's done on my couch. I grabbed like a TV tray and had to set everything down on the TV tray. I had to attach my like camera to the table behind the couch. And it was very difficult to try to get everything filmed and in frame to make it like easy for everybody to see like what I was working on. And I think some of them, even like my creature video, I filmed of me just sculpting like sitting on the couch because like I didn't have any other options, but now I do. This opens up like a whole new world of possibilities and I'm like super, super excited about it. I can't wait to see what the future holds. I just want to thank y'all so much for supporting me because without y'all supporting me and all of my collectors and all of the like love you guys have shared like I wouldn't I wouldn't be at this point where I'm at right now so I just want to let y'all know that I'm like so thankful for everything that y'all have done to get me to this point because without y'all I wouldn't be here and I just want y'all to know I like I thank you and I don't think that I say it enough but I truly 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 do appreciate you and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for helping me to achieve my dreams and to get to the point where I'm at right now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching me create my new workspace. I hope, hope I've been able to inspire maybe some of the other artists that are out there that are working from home and trying to figure it out, maybe giving you guys some ideas on what you can do to kind of work within the limitations of like a small space. Um, this desk that I purchased here, I got at Ikea. I think it was like, I think it was like 60 bucks. Um, the little table I bought to make it into an L desk, um, I want to say it was like $39. So like the total for everything with the shipping was like $200 because Ikea charges $50 to ship for whatever reason. I don't even know. But um, so it's a super cheap setup. These shelves that are here behind me, those guys, um, I got those at Target and I want to say that they were like $25 a piece for the small ones. Like these guys are this is a full one i think it was like 35 dollars at target um and then my other one that's on the other side there that has all the like paper mache hats and things like that i think those were 25 dollars a piece and there's like two of them um this wire rack here i purchased at target i want to say it was like 45 dollars or something like that but so like total for like all of the shelving and everything i want to say like the entire workspace maybe like 450 500 something like that to get everything including this little i know you can't see it but like right here this little cabinet if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button 
If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. If you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video, please hit that bell icon. YouTube will just send you like a little bitty notification every time I post a new video. I'm going to be making some more videos this year and the rest of this year and then coming up into next year. So please stay tuned for that. I'm also, by the end of December, going to be posting my video of my trip to Michigan for Bewitching Peddlers, which is going to be super exciting. Um, I got a lot of footage of all the artists there. Some footage of Marshall, Michigan, so you guys can check out what Marshall, Michigan looks like if you guys want to come to that show when I do it next year. Plus, you'll be able to see a lot of the other artists that were there with me. And when I do that video, I'm going to do a little bio on each one of the artists. Talk a little bit about the artist that I got a chance to meet when I was up there in Marshall, Michigan. Very rare to have the opportunity to actually sit down and talk to some of these artists that we just see on the internet and appreciate and are inspired by their work. I'm really thrilled and super excited to be able to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming later in the month. Um, I'm going to try to do Vlogmas this year. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of the days. I'm going to try my hardest to try to give you guys a little bit more for December for Vlogmas. Um, I missed out on October. We were just like super busy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next one.